Okay, everything is rolling. Your phone's still on. Do you want that off or on? Eh? Just hit the power button on the side, Mom. What? Hit the power button. Thank you. Okay. You ready? Hello, people. I'm Jabby Kawai, joined by Mama Kawai. <laughs> um, there's lots of questions here. 1.6 thousand questions. The very first one is, uh, how long have we known each other? From the J. I'm just joking. Okay, I thought that would be funny. Hey, tough crowd. Okay, is it just me or does Jabby's mom look like a Chara in 50 years? What? Is your son Jabby naughty? Sometimes. Would you like to see a Chara as your son's wife? Uh, no comment. <laughs> Is she like Jabby's any ex-girlfriend more than a char Kurt? What? Does she, do you like Jabby's? I don't understand this question. Do you like any of Jabby's ex-girlfriends more than a oh. char Kurt? Do you like any of Jabby's ex-girlfriends more than a char Kirk? No. Good. Correct answer. <laughs> okay. Has Jabby ever experienced a flying sandal on his face? Flying sandal? No, no, I've never done that. Okay, just a belt. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your favorite child, Anthony or Gregory? Also, why not Anthony? <laughs> What the hell? That's so mean. I don't have a favorite child. What was the most embarrassing thing Jabby did in his school life as a kid? When you were like in preschool and you peed all over yourself. I did what? <laughs> what are you talking about? When you were in preschool, you didn't like to ask permission to go to the restroom. So you would like kind of hold it in. And then there was one time where you were not able to hold it in and you just peed and I had to make you stand up in the car going home because I didn't want you to sit down on the seats with your... Well, now I just pee all the time. Has Jabby ever done something mischievous that he thinks you don't know, but you actually do? Well, that's a good question. I don't know. You're pretty smart. Like, I remember a long time ago when we were still living in Highland Park, you said, no Nintendo, you can't play any video games. And I said, okay, fine. And then when you left, dad was like, go ahead, go play. And then, so I played in the morning before going to preschool. And then when we got home, I wanted to play some more and you said, no. You already played this morning. I'm like, how did you know? <laughs> I still don't know how you yeah, knew that. I've got ice in the back of my head. <laughs> how did you know that? You don't remember. Mm -mm. Okay, so is there anything mischievous that I did that I don't know that you know? Mm, I don't think so. This is riveting. A moment when Jabby as a child made you really angry. Not so much when you were a child, when you were like a teenager. You were saying something about how I should be grateful because you were... You were not into drugs, you were not into alcohol and stuff like that. So I should be grateful that you were, you know, for having a son like you, who mm. was like, not, not like other teenagers. And I responded to say and told you that, well, you should be grateful because I'm not like other parents who are alcoholics and drug addicts and all that stuff. So why should I be grateful to have a son <laughs> like you? You should be grateful to have a parent like me. I don't remember that at all. <laughs> it sounds like something I would have said. I remember when you were trying to teach me how to spell the word shirt in kindergarten and you had gotten off of work, you had a long day, and I guess dad didn't like do his part to teach me what he needed to teach me. And so you were on the couch with your hand like this, just waiting for me to get the word. And I spelled S H R quack. <laughs> S H I R T. That's what I remember as a kid. How has Jabby changed from when he began his YouTube journey to now having millions of subscribers? Change how? That's the question, isn't it? Like, how how have I changed? Mm. I broke up with with Chloe's mom at the end of 2015. Three months later, I had 100,000 subscribers. Just to give you a ballpark of an idea as to where this all started, we haven't we haven't talked about this very much. Yeah. Just, I was in that like state of depression in December 2015. I stopped working in casting in March of 2016. It's not you changing. It's more like your YouTube channel just growing so fast so quickly especially after you started doing the Bollywood reviews and all that which was very very surprising especially when Gregory started before you did right and then you just surpassed him so fast I'm like I was really amazed how did you feel about that well I was happy for you <laughs> yeah. you know I was happy that you were you were doing real that you you are you are still doing really well. What was your reaction when Jabby told you that he wants to be a YouTuber rather than becoming a doctor or engineer or pilot? To make the question more specific, I suppose, how, what was your reaction when I told you I wanted to do film as opposed to whatever the hell it is you do? 
<laughs> I do. First of all, I never really like wanted my children to be anything but what they wanted to be. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't like dream of my children becoming doctors or lawyers, any of that stuff. I wanted all of you guys to be do whatever made you happy. Okay, you gotta sit up, mom. <laughs> Posture so because bad. Because this is difficult <laughs> without a back. How have your life experiences changed? you as an individual? How have your life experiences changed you as an individual? That's such a broad question. He wants to hear it from someone who's got like some, who's been around when the dinosaurs were here. Like he wants to know, <laughs> like, how has your life changed? Basically looking for sage advice from someone who's got experience. It's, it's been, it's changed a lot. It's, I mean, for one thing, especially after, you know, your dad died. Mm -hmm. See, the one thing I've always told myself when I was younger is that, I would never be dependent on my husband or any man to survive, mm -hmm. to make a living. Because I've always heard stories of women who spend their lives as housewives and then their husbands pass away or their husbands leave them and then they have difficulty going back into the workplace or finding jobs because they haven't had, they haven't worked in a while. Yeah. So it's difficult for them to, you know, get a good job or go back into that mode of working for a living. Mm -hmm. So I always told myself that that was never going to happen to me. Okay. So I've always worked hard. I've worked hard to be where I am now. And after your dad passed away, I was grateful that I had a job to go to, to, you know, keep me going, keep my mind off things, especially since your dad and your grandma passed away within days of each other, Right. my job is what kept me going. And you guys too, you know, mm. you having you guys around, having my family around and also having my job and not being dependent on anybody else to support myself or my family. If there's anything, oh, this is my question just off of his to piggyback. If there's anything you could tell your younger self, what would you tell your younger self? Marry your rich. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Seems like her mom, her mom, seems like his mom also had a lot of boyfriends. Jabby, how many has she had? <laughs> like real relationships, I think, boyfriends? Mm hmm Three. Three? I thought there was two. Well, I had one when I was a teenager, although that didn't last very long. What the hell happened? There was this, he, he moved away. And oh, you're crying. Can you get a tissue, please? Aww. Why you gotta bring up stuff that's making you emotional? <laughs> Your dad was the second most serious relationship I had. Who was the third in between all that? <laughs> no, there was a second one. The first one, I guess, was not really that serious. Okay, 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 I got you. Your eye, it's just your eyes on the sides, that's all. You don't have tissue paper. <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't have real tissues. That's it. You, it's just, yeah, you're good. Okay. Well, who was this guy when you were a teenager? What did your parents say? They didn't know. Mm, yeah, they didn't know. Okay. It was a neighbor. I don't want to ask any more questions. I don't want to. What is, sit up mom. <laughs> it's, um, it's good for you. What is more important, being in a relationship and working alongside for your career or first accomplish something about your career, then think about relationship and settlement. So basically, is it okay to have a relationship while you're discovering yourself and working or, or finding your career or is it better to find your career first and then open yourself up to no, relationships? No, I think it's good to be able to balance both. Okay. I think it's helpful to have while you're finding yourself, it's helpful to have a relationship that can support you or be there for you. It's not good to be alone. Okay. Yeah. But if you are alone and you enjoy it, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, um, this is, is Jabby more Asian or more American according to you? Hmm. <laughs> what, what is that? What is that? Every mother has an instance in her life when she feels like she is failing as a parent. Jesus. How did you handle this feeling and what kept you going? I don't think she's ever felt like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think I've ever considered myself a failure as a parent, although it surprised me when Anthony, as a kindergartner, said he wanted to grow up to be a teenager. Oh God, so <laughs> that was like, okay, it's his most ambition is to become a teenager. <laughs> and I've succeeded. How did Jabby behave when he was in high school? And do you like what he's doing for a living? You didn't do anything bad. In high school. Sure. Not that I know of. <laughs> no, you, I think you're being kind. I mean, no, at least 
I don't think you did. I mean, like your high school wasn't exactly, it was known for having, you know, some bad elements and all that, but you stayed away from that. Right. Basically, you went to school, did your job, except that you didn't really want to do the graduation ceremonies as far as I know. Mm -hmm. You did that for me. Yes. That, that you didn't want to attend your gra your high school graduation. You just did that to make me happy. I can recall at least a handful of instances of you getting annoyed. I was spending too much time with uh, a certain girl in oh, high that's school. Right. <laughs> 